just, he wanted to be in that rock and roll stereotype so bad. And it wasn't all that bad, you know, at first the booze and the blow actually sort of lent an air of fun to what we were doing as a group. But when he started drinking window cleaner and hairspray just for a cheap buzz, that's, uh, that's when we knew we were in trouble. Nick's drinking? Yeah, it was bad. Man. Shut up! Yeah, you know, all those assholes say that it was my fault and I was like having too big of a time. I mean, we're in a rock band for Christ's sakes. What'd you want me to do, be praying the entire time? Yeah, but it wasn't just Nick, you know. There were other internal problems in the band. Katie, we were at each other's throats. It was never good. And it was in the same time that Nick started losing it, but Katie was always stepping over my lines and, you know, stealing my thunder, taking me out of the spotlight. So, it wasn't just Nick. Hey, we're and then Katie was just fucking nuts. Yeah, Connor and I had a thing a while back and it was, we were really hot and heavy for a little bit there. And, you know, I think it really took a toll on Nick. I think he got a little jealous. And that's when he really started drinking, not just booze, but anything in a bottle. Let me be honest, being sober is just really, really boring. So the band was cool, but it just wasn't my type of music. So that's when I just, I left and I made my own project. She had the Boom Boom Room. Keep a woman from twerking. Just all about big booty hoes. Just twerking. Just woo! And then there was the accident. I don't know where he was in his head that he thought he could play an electric guitar in his swimming pool. It's sad. Nick's dead? You know, after Nick passed uh, and after Kendra found out, um, we were all, we didn't really know how to feel about it. It had been so long since we'd even seen him, but we thought it was uh, an appropriate honor uh, to get back together for one more show uh, to play in, in Nick's honor. Yeah, when the band broke up, I, um, I moved to Florida actually to pursue my real interests um, in training therapy dolphins. So that's what I've been doing um, the past few years. But when I got the phone call about getting the band back together, I was like, yeah, dolphins will be fine without me for like a week. 